U.S. Energy Department says that after seeing new intelligence concerning the origins of COVID, it now concludes the global pandemic most likely was caused by a lab leak in China. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. Joining us now, former Director of National Intelligence, John Ratcliffe. Great to have you here, sir. Before we get your reaction, I would just like to play for everybody. This is Biden's national security advisor on this topic yesterday. President Biden specifically requested that the national labs, which are part of the Department of Energy, be brought into this assessment because he wants to put every tool at use uh, to be able to figure out what happened here. And if we gain any further insider information, we will share it with Congress and we will share it with the American people. What's your reaction to this as it came out yesterday morning? Well, I'm not surprised. In fact, I predicted that there would be a shift uh, among all of the intelligence agencies because, you know, Dana, frankly, um, the idea that the uh, COVID-19 uh, virus was of natural origins has always been at odds with our intelligence. I mean, from my first day as the, as the director and looking at that, uh, that was very clear. And I think what you've seen is, uh, you know, uh, back in April of 2020, uh, the intelligence communities unanimously agreed with the scientific community that this was of natural origins. It has now shifted uh, and you see more and more agencies um, uh, coming to the uh, conclusion with uh, some degree of confidence in their assessment that, uh, that this was the result of a lab leak. And I think over time, Dana, uh, what you're going to find is that the entire intelligence community will reach that assessment uh, because our intelligence very clearly supports that assessment. But, but if the Department of Energy is saying this, w w would they not know? Well, it, uh, what I didn't understand about uh, Jake Sullivan's comments is the, the Department of Energy has been involved like other, their intelligence components have been involved with this from the beginning. And, um, you know, not to get too technical on this bill, but from the beginning, uh, it has been clear that scientists have not been able to explain why there's something called a furin cleavage site within the genetic makeup of the COVID-19 virus. And, and that's why you had these scientists privately in emails conceding, I don't know how this occurs in nature. Um, that is something that happens when uh, scientists insert a snippet of genetic material uh, into manipulated viruses. And so from the beginning, there has never been an environmental source for COVID-19. There has never been an intermediary host um, identified. And why that's important for, for, your, for your viewers is with the original SARS virus and with the original, with the, uh, with the MERS uh, virus, those intermediary hosts were found within a matter of months. We're now three and a half years uh, from the origins of COVID-19 and no intermediary host, nothing tying this to the natural world has been found, which is why you see all of these scientists and now intelligence agencies backing away from prior assessments, backing away from the idea that there was possibility of natural origin and moving to the assessment that this was the result of a lab leak. Can I ask you about the timing of this coming out yesterday morning? And I'm not, I usually think things are, are, are very much more of a coincidence than any sort of strategy, but I do want to ask, you know, last week we knew that the administration was telling us that China was about to sell weapons to Russia in order to use against Ukraine. And then this comes out on Sunday morning, but it feels to me like they would have had this information for a long time. So are you suspicious of the timing of the information getting out? Uh... Uh, I had the same uh, uh, initial thoughts that you did, Dana. Um, I don't think that this is a coincidence. I, I do hope that this is part of a strategy to hold mm -hmm. China in check. That would be a good sign that the Biden administration is, is thinking about these things. But, you know, to the larger picture, I also wish that this acknowledgement and assessment um, across the board that China, uh, notwithstanding the fact I understand that the geopolitical ramifications of, of, of uh, concluding that uh, China is responsible for the deaths of now tens of millions of people, more than a million Americans from a lab accident that happened in Wuhan are, are significant. But I do think in the scope of things, the American people deserve to have a truthful assessment. And our intelligence on this is clear. Uh, I said it years ago that this shift would take place and it will continue where eventually we'll get to the point where everyone is conceding that this was a result of a lab leak. And well, I mean, Sullivan said the national labs are part of the Department of Energy. DOE, Department of Energy is what said um, that this came from Wuhan. Speaking of Wuhan, New York Post headline of the day, it had to be, it had to be Wu.
Sing it. Sing it. <clears throat> Not now. Come on. Oh. John Ratcliffe, thank you, sir. Come on back soon, okay? You thank you for your time today. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.